Hi all folks, this is Max from uh, 1xroot.com um, So, let me get my phone here um, That's my new buddy, it's kind of cool Let me get one um, It actually moves um, Anyway, today we're going to show you how to install a ROM on your HTC uh, 1X You'll first have to have a rooted HTC 1X Obviously, if you don't know how, go to 1xroot.com And I have instructions there and once you've got all that done, um, you'll need to connect it. And uh, this is how you install a ROM. Uh, connect it as a disk drive. Ah. Okay, it's in disk drive. Yes, in di isn't this drive? <laughs> disk drive. Let's go to our computer. Next, uh, what you'll do is um, you will basically um, copy over the ROM file. This, the ROM I'm installing right now is the Android Revolution HD ROM. This will be my first ROM install. So go ahead and copy the whole ROM zip file over. Don't unzip it. Um, if you're on Mac, sometimes it'll unzip it automatically. Just get the zip file and then copy it over. Oops. What are you doing? Um, copy it over to your uh, SD card. I like to put it in the download directory so it's nice and safe here. Um, do a paste there. It's 541 megabytes, so it'll take a while. And by the way, because of the way HTC um, locked their bootloader, and even though we have an unlocked bootloader, to install new ROMs, you'll have to actually um, get into recovery via Fastboot, uh, which really sucks, and it's all HTC's fault. Um, there might be in the future a way to just do it without doing that, but right now, You'll have to uh, boot it from Fastboot, which I'll show you how to do. And this is a tutorial on how to um, install ROM on your HTC One X. I'll be back. So once that's copied over, um, you are all good to go. Um, next, we're gonna go uh, put it into Fastboot. So basically, hold down the volume down and the power button. The reason is that um, the like, again the HTC unlock method won't let you install it. If you just try to install new ROMs, um, going into recovery, uh, Clockwork Mode recovery, um, you might end up in a boot loop. So go go in here and uh, let me adjust the camera here. Um, select recovery, recovery, and hit the power button. Oh. I'm an idiot. Sorry. Today's 420. Got too high on Android. Hold down volume down and the power button again. And then uh, we're actually we actually need to put it into fast boot mode. Not recovery. If because yes, there we go. So select fast boot like that, it'll be selected and hit the power button. And uh, it should say uh, fast boot USB and then we're all all good to go, alright? Let's go back to our computer here, and what you want to do is go to start. Oh, you'll also have to download HTC or no one x root.zip and unzip it. If you root it using my methods at uh, one x root.com, you should have it there. I have it under my download folder, and go type uh, cmd under start search, and uh, this will bring up one of these windows. And let's zoom in here and type cd downloads oops, downloads like that and then t uh, type cd 1x root like that and type fastboot um, boot uh, recovery under uh, dash clockwork touch uh, blah 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 dot zip and this will boot you into clockwork mod recovery now it looks the same as the other one but the thing is if you do it like this, you can actually flash kernels um, with the, where the ROM comes with it. So this is the way you have to do it, um, just because HTC screwed everything up. Hit enter. And now it will boot into Clockwork My Recovery. Now you can do whatever you want to do in Clockwork My Recovery and it will work normally. But mm -hmm. if you don't do this, um, you might end up in a video. So let me change the camera angle here. And there we go. This will be my last video because today is 420 and I must go do some fun. Um, so what you want to do, before you do anything, make sure you made a backup. If you didn't, go to backup and restore and hit backup, alright? 
um, if you have a backup ROM and also use titanium backup to back up your apps and also SMS text message uh, S SMS text backup app to back up your SMS um, text messages because when you install a new ROM you're gonna have to start all over again so um, do a wipe data factory reset say yes All right, and then go to uh, install zip from SD card choose zip from SD card and go find the uh, the ROM file we copied over remember this is a universal guide so um, but I'm using Android Revolution ROM there so I'm going to select that zip file say yes and this will install the Android Revolution HD ROM uh, which I have used on some of my other ROMs it should give you way better battery life performance over stock ROM um, it's pretty much stock but with additions enhancements um, so if you're still on stock you might be well behind so this is almost done it should take another minute or so and I, I'm gonna go change the battery on my camera it's running out I'll be right back so that is done um, you can see that successfully everything uh, was done and simply go back reboot system now and uh, I'll just wait until the the uh, the ROM boots up to show you that I've successfully installed installed a new ROM. Um, for other HTC phones, there's also uh, there's other methods to install ROMs, but to simply put it, this is the fail fail um, fail. What is that word? Oh God, I'm so high on Android today. Um, so basically just follow this method and if you're using Mac or Linux all you have to do is the same method um, th except you have to change the fastboot command to dot slash uh, fastboot dash Mac for Mac and also dot slash fastboot dash Linux um, for Linux and I have actually have those files in 1x root dot zip so you can actually do it uh, do the same thing that I did in this video with a Mac or a Linux just you have to open up a terminal instead of a um, command prompt like in Windows so hopefully I got it right um, and also if so, for some reason if I get stuck in boot loop I have a um, uh, what is it the backup I made and I uh, can use that and also when you restore from an uh, if you're coming from another kernel non stock kernel you'll have to boot the uh, recovery from fast boot like I showed you here otherwise it will not restore the kernel so that's another thing um, it's all HTC's fault all the developers hate it it's like oh yeah we get unlock bootloaders now oh yeah but you know what it's not gonna let us flash kernels and it's just gonna be a pain in the ass for everybody um, that's what I understood it as uh -oh. So it's, it's not booting up. Sometimes this can happen. Um, all you have to do is get back into, um, I'm going to try to just reboot it. Just hold down the power button if it doesn't boot the first time. Oh, you know what? Hold on. I, I felt something. Maybe it's just, maybe the first time it could take a long time. Oh, there we go. I got it boot up. Yippee. Um, so I got it installed. I almost thought I was in boot loop. But if you become in a boot loop, um, you can boot back into Clockwork My Recovery, hold down uh, power and the volume down, get back into it. Um, you can clear download cache and cache, uh, which can help you get it working. Usually that will fix everything. Or if you have trouble um, using the Play Store or something, then you can also do that. And uh, that will fix any download problems you have. Uh, maybe I'll do another video on that but for this video I'm gonna stick it here actually no I'll show you how to do that so let me just show you that uh, I've got the new ROM even though it looks exactly the same as stock it's actually this is a custom ROM so if you go to uh, settings here and go to about phone um, software information you see software number is at, uh, Android Revolution so I've got this ROM that's how you install ROM but if you have any problems of uh, boot loops or whatever I'll do an extra right here hold down power and the volume down to get back into clever about recovery <laughs> sorry <laughs> um, that's why my voice changed and uh, here we go and you, once you're in uh, here choose uh, recovery for this you don't have to um, 
boot from fast boot because you're you're not installing a kernel. Go to recovery and hit the power button. But when you install a ROM, you have to boot from fast boot unless the ROM you're installing comes with a kernel, uh, a stock kernel, or that's compatible with the same version of the kernel you're using. Uh oh, what happened? I don't know what happened. Um, sometimes when you install a ROM, it can overwrite the other the recovery. So let me try that again. And uh, you can always use the fast boot method to get back into recovery. I'm gonna have to flash it again because uh, it's having trouble. Go to recovery again. If it doesn't work, we'll uh, flash the recovery again, uh, which won't be a problem. Or we can just boot it too. Oh, it worked. It's just a, I don't know what happened there. Um, here, you can do wipe cache partition, say yes. This is just cache. Cache is just temporary files. You can do this at any time. This usually fixes like 99% of the problems people are having. And also go to advanced uh, and do wipe dial the cache and say yes. Do these two things before um, you give up on, on installing a new ROM because those two things will first solve boot loops. They'll solve, um, let me reboot. They'll solve uh, uh, boot loops, they'll solve uh, problems where you can't download from the play stores for some reason. Because all that temporary files from your old ROM or stock ROM or your other ROM is still there. And uh, sometimes when you install a, ROM, a new ROM, it kind of gets all jumbled up and crazy and, you know. Um, so, that will fix it. Anyway, I think I covered everything about installing a new custom ROM. And also sometimes there's two files, like uh, for example, a lot of the AOKP, AOSP, uh, CM9 ROMs, it'll come with the ROM and the Google Apps. All you have to do is flash the ROM just like this, and before you reboot, um, flash the G Google Apps uh, or the second file um, without a wipe, just, just right after using uh, install from, uh, install choose from zip, um, zip file. Oh God, to them. Um, anyway, that was how to install a new ROM on your HTC One X, um, and I'll have a review of the Android Revolution HD. But I've I've had it on my other phones. I highly recommend it, even though I didn't try it. And uh, thanks you guys for supporting my channel. Um, if you have a One X, don't forget to subscribe to my email list at onexroot.com, where I update you uh, ROM of the week tips, hacks, and more once or twice a week when I have. We don't know you. Um, I don't share your email with anyone else. And if you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like button for me. Um, subscribe to my channel if you have. Thanks. And uh, share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. Plus. Use that button right there. Oh, yeah. And uh, stay high, yo, folks. Um, and, uh, you know, um, stay high on Android. All right. See you all later. Don't be a hater.